Well, opponents of forming committees, uh, these committees, after yet another mass shooting in Texas, instead holding a special session, they're calling that a failure in leadership. Dylan Collier examines whether the criticism is justified in this defender's report. <laughs> In the summer of 2019, weeks after a gunman killed 23 people inside an El Paso Walmart, Governor Greg Abbott convened a Texas Safety Commission. Its goal, to come up with a legislative fix to address mass shootings in the state. Ari Freilich says his colleagues at the Giffords Law Center provided expert testimony on firearm violence prevention and put forth an extensive safety plan. The end result? Unfortunately, the, that, those were not acted on in Texas. According to Freilich, symbolic half measures and a doubling down on the notion of arming teachers. When presented with a, an eight-part safety plan for preventing gun violence in the state of Texas after El Paso in 2019, instead, the only action Texas lawmakers did was to, uh, to make it easier for people with histories of violence and criminality to be qualified to legally carry weapons in public spaces. He's referring to last year's controversial constitutional carry bill, which made it legal for Texans to carry handguns without a license or training. A defender's examination of how that bill made its way through the Texas Senate and House shows that it could have contained measures that would have likely prevented gun violence. But Senator Jose Menendez's amendment, which would have required mental health screenings for private firearm transfers, failed. Another senator from our area, Roland Gutierrez, proposed allowing counties and cities to keep concealed handgun license requirements in place. But that amendment also failed. A statewide loosening of gun restrictions, all while data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, show the firearm death rate of children in Texas has more than doubled during Abbott's tenure. Three of the 10 deadliest mass shootings in U.S. history have occurred in Texas while Governor Abbott was governor of Texas. So there's a real problem. But right now, Texas lawmakers answer to the gun lobby. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.